Welcome to EMTB videos. Wide studded tires for mountain bikes have been around for several years, but they have uh, for the most part been 27.5 uh, plus tires. Some years ago, almost every EMTB was uh, 27.5 plus, so that was okay. But uh, starting about 2019, uh, more and more 29er EMTBs were showing up. And some uh, mullet bikes like this one with 27.5 rear, 29er up front. But uh, there were little studded tires to be found. Uh, so we were running our bikes, even though they were 29ers or whatever, with the 27.5 front and rear. We ended up using the 45 North. 27.5 3 inch wide up front and the 3 inch wide Suomi Fat Freddy at the back. So that will be the reference setup for this test. And now finally wider 29 inch studded tires are uh, showing up. We don't have all brands in Norway. I know Terrain Cake Eater has been around for a while but uh, that's not easily available here. Just shipping is more than the Ice Biker Pro from Norwegian uh, store. So in this test we've got the 29 by 2.6 inches tires from uh, 45 North. We've got two different tires. We've got the Ratchild 60 TPI. That's a new tire for this year. And the distributor says this tire is uh, the most suited for EMTBs. Then they've got the 120 TPI version. Both of these tires are about 1 kilo. They measure 63 millimeters over the side walls, and that's measured at 20 psi on a 30 millimeter internal width rim. The 120 TPI tire has got the big XL studs, while the 60 TPI tire has got the smaller regular hollow tip studs. And then we've got the Suomi Pikisika. I believe it's pronounced Pikisika. Yeah, something like that. It's also a 29 by 2.6 inches tire, and it's way bigger than the 45 North. It measures 67 millimeters over the side walls, and it's a really tall tire, so it might not fit your bike. It fits uh, our bikes uh, quite well. This uh, mullet bike, the Merida E160, has a Fox 38 fork and uh, it's no problem fitting the tire up front. We also rode the tire front and back on the Trek rail and uh, no issues with the clearance in the rear frame. And it fitted in the Yari fork too, no problems. So that was the 29er tires and we have also included a few 27.5 tires which we have tested previously, like in uh, this test from last year. Or this. It's the Suomi Fat Freddy 27.5 by 3 inches. It's the Schwalbe Ice Biker Pro. It's an old version, this one. It's the Light Skin Evo. This here, you only get the double down uh, TLE version, which is uh, like 300 grams heavier. And finally, it's the 45 North Ratchild 27.5 by 3 inches. We tested these tires in different conditions. But, uh, well, we only did the test over three weeks, so we didn't get to test in all kinds of different snow. Uh, it was pretty cold throughout the, the weeks we tested. So we'll just show you the conditions we tested and um, tell you what we think are the advantages and disadvantages of the different tires. We started the test going uh, to higher ground, I believe like 400 meters above sea level. It was some minus 11, minus 12 degrees, and it was uh, so it was really cold, and it was a lot of powdery snow, like 30 centimeters or more than a foot of uh, loose snow over a pretty thin but hard uh, base, and beneath that was uh, more powdery loose snow. So that base was almost carrying us when we ride over it, depending on which tire we chose. The reference bike with the three inches front and rear was handling this quite nicely. We, were, we weren't sinking through that hard base layer in the middle of the snow. 
so we were floating. And then we tried with the Peaky Sika 29 inch tire on the track rail, and it sort of worked. We dropped the tire pressure as far as we could, and um, yeah, for the most part, we were floating on that uh, sole in the middle of the snow. So it was really fun and really exhausting. And uh, the front wheel actually worked uh, a tad better than our reference front wheel because the Peaky Sika 2.6 inches is actually wider than the 45 North Ratchild 27.5 by 3 inches. At least if you measure over the side walls, which um, I think is the most important measurement because it says something about the volume of the tire and how wide it becomes when it compresses with the low air pressure. So the Piki Sika was a great uh, tire up front and uh, surprisingly decent at the back. And then we tested with the remaining 2.6 inches tires, the Ratchilds and the Ice Biker Pro. And well, they were all too narrow. They were sinking through this uh, sort of sole in uh, deep in the snow. But they were all usable. It was possible riding da down this uh, slight slope. And uh, while the thinner tires were extremely exhausting to ride, we, we were able to do it. When riding these conditions in loose snow, we think a big, the bigger tire, the better. The wider tire, more float, and uh, the taller tire, the longer circumference, uh, the better, because it makes the tire more stable, especially when riding over like foot tracks or other tracks from other bikes or whatever. You don't get caught up in the, in the holes and bumps uh, as easily with the bigger tires. Dry and cold snow such as this doesn't really get hard no matter how hard you compress it. We rode this uh, short loop with all the different tires and um, the narrower tires from uh, 45 North and uh, Ice Biker Pro, they were sinking through the surface uh, here and there. So they were, they were making a mess uh, some places. The 45 North Ratchild 3 inches tire was way better. And the Suomi Piki Sika was doing really well, but we really had to go to the Suomi Fat Freddy to do the whole loop without uh, sinking through the surface uh, anywhere. But uh, still riding with the narrower tires was really fun. The surface is uh, solid enough to keep the speed up and uh, to have fun. And when we rode this steep hill, which uh, a lot of kids play in and uh, ride their sleigh and whatever, the narrower tires were really shining because the surface here was uh, much harder and uh, while not properly icy, it seemed uh, the surface was uh, a bit thicker and harder than uh, the other places we rode. So the narrower tires, especially the 45 North tires, were doing really well because we had such great feedback and the cornering grip on the 45 Norths with the sort of pronounced uh, side knobs were really fun and confidence inspiring. And if we tried the, like a jump, the tires such as the Ice Biker Pro, which is a smaller, narrower tire, felt more playful than the bigger tires. So, it's, uh, so the narrower tires are sort of more nimble and more fun. When, uh, when riding more compact and uh, solid surfaces. This day, I believe it was like minus nine degrees, something. And uh, we rode footpaths. Often when you ride these conditions, there is a compact center of the trail and um, the edges are loose, uh, powdery snow. So when riding these conditions, you really want the widest tire possible because um, to, if you get the front wheel towards one of the edges, it will slide out into the snow. And the wider the tire, the easier it is avoiding sliding. But this day, uh, the snow was really compact in the center and on the sides. So if you hit the sides, you would just, uh, you would just bounce back into the trail or possibly to the edge on the other side and get into trouble. Riding these conditions can be quite challenging, keeping, uh, keeping your balance. You spend a lot of energy trying to stay in the middle and uh, when you hit the edges you sort of uh, 
have to use all your core muscles to stay upright. But it's really fun. And uh, after a bit of practicing, you can get uh, some decent speed. And when riding these conditions, we, we prefer the, the narrower tires, like the 45 North 29 by 2.6 inches and the Ice Biker Pro 27.5 by 2.6 inches. Because we don't really need all the support and the, we don't need a tire that floats on the snow. The, the base is hard enough. What we need is a tire with the good feedback and the lower volume sort of Let's, let's us know when the tire is about to slip. Uh, the wider tires can be slowly drifting and uh, have a, a more numb steering feeling. And when it gets properly hard, uh, the big XL studs on the 120 TPI 45 North tires, they dig in. Yeah, it's pretty extreme how much grip you get uh, in these conditions. The 45 North Ratchild 60 TPI with the Smaller studs is uh, still fine, just like the Ice Biker Pro. They, they're nimble and um, still decent grip. And then we tested on ice. Still a really cold day, like minus 11 degrees. And uh, the surface of the ice is a bit coarse and uh, th there are patches of snow, so it's not... Uh, it's not extremely slippery like wet ice, but the ice is really, really hard. So um, it can be difficult for the studs to sort of get grip and dig in. Most of the tires were doing fine uh, in this test. It's basically just the Suomi Fat Freddy that struggles a bit. We tested the reference setup, uh, which has that tire on the back, and it's got the 120 TPI Ratchild on the front. And the grip on the front tire is extremely good. And, uh, and that's the most important tire on, on ice. Uh, there's still some grip from the Suomi Fat Freddy's, so it was okay. Mm. But uh, riding 120 TPI 45 North front and rear is, of course, the, the ultimate setup. Cornering with the 45 Norths uh, with the XL studs is a bit different than on the other tires. You get lots of grip, but it's only got studs in every other side knob. So you can ride really hard, but it's not like it will slowly start drifting. When, uh, when it slips, you're almost lost. It's really difficult getting back from that. While uh, tires such as uh, Suomi Pikisika and the uh, Ice Biker Pro, they will start letting go slowly, so you you are able to save yourself uh, or just keep turning and do a wider turn than you initially planned. And uh, the 60 TPI version of the 45 North uh, Ratchild is about the, it's the same, but it starts sliding a bit sooner because uh, it's got the smaller studs. Uh, by the way, the studs aren't really that small. They're the same size as the Ice Biker Pro, the Suomi Fat Freddy and the Suomi Pikisika. It's just that they're smaller than the XL studs. So when you've got uh, the smaller studs in every other knob, uh, it starts sliding sooner uh, when, uh, when turning. And uh, yeah, it's no drama really. You're not doing crazy high speeds most likely and, uh, and you can control the drift if you dare to try. So for riding on ice, the 120 TPI XL studs are just great, but the Suomi Pikisika and the Ice Biker Pro, they're actually pretty good. And the 45 North 60 TPI is a tad behind those tires, and the Suomi Fat Freddy finishes last in this test. Man, this is a long video. We need some drama here to break things up a bit. Oh well, let's get on with it. So let's talk a bit about each tire. The Ratchild 40 by 45 North, the 29 by 2.6 inches with the big XL studs. That's the 120 TPI tire. It's a great tire on ice and on uh, properly hard uh, snow surfaces. Pretty lightweight tire, pretty nimble, great cornering grip on the harder surfaces. The knob layout is like 
like uh, more of a traditional summer uh, mountain bike tire. But we think it's a tad narrow for these conditions. We wish it was more true to size and uh, that it measured like 65 millimeters on the 30 millimeter inside width rim. Uh, but we've been riding a lot of loose conditions uh, in this test and not everybody does that. Then we got the 60 TPI version of the same tire. It's a bit cheaper. The 120 TPI XL tire is really expensive. The 60 TPI tire is recommended on e-bikes, says the Norwegian distributor. And it's significantly cheaper. And for like riding snow, compact snow, it's, it's great. In some conditions you can't feel a tad less grip due to the smaller studs. But uh, yeah, they're a bit narrow uh, for most of our riding. And uh, like uh, with the 120 TPI version, we really enjoy the cornering grip and the sort of light feel of the tire. And then it's the last 45 North uh, Ratchild tire, the 27.5 by 3 inches. It's got the same uh, knob layout as the other tires so cornering grip on harder surfaces is great and it's got the big XL studs so grip on hard icy snow is great and uh, grip on uh, proper ice is really good too but we think the tire is a bit small considering it's a three inch tire it measures only 65 millimeters over the side walls and that's less than the Suomi Piki Sika 29 by 2.6 inches but this tire is mounted to a rim with an internal width of 30 millimeters, and you really need to use wider rims uh, on, a, on a three inch tire, at least 35 millimeters uh, or even 40 plus if you want to. So it didn't really perform great when riding in loose uh, snow. It's, uh, it should have been a bit wider. And also it's a 27.5 tire. and. Uh, we do prefer the 29er tires, the taller tires with better rollover capabilities because uh, they are more stable uh, when you ride over tracks from other users. Still, it's a great tire. Uh, there are not many other tires on the market that are actually wider. So if you're running a mullet setup or a 27.5 bike and you can't fit the Suomi Fat Freddy's, this uh, Ratchild 3-inch uh, tire really is a great option. Then there's the Suomi Piki Sika, 29 by 2.6 inches. We rode the TLR SL edition. TLR means tubeless ready, so we tested that and well, yeah, not great success. The side walls were leaking um, sealant and uh, we tried for a week. Suomi was uh, bankrupt 2019, I believe, and uh, another company bought them uh, shortly after. So. The tires we are seeing now are, are being produced by the new owners and they well they've got some titting problems like there is a bit of a, a sideways throw in both tires not much but uh, there are some issues on the first batches and uh, the sidewall issue is one of them the norwegian distributor tells us the sidewalls have been reported to be sticking to the uh, mold used to manufacture the tires and when they remove the mold from the tires they are sort of tearing small holes in the sidewalls so hopefully that's going to be fixed for future tires and when speaking of tubeless setup tubeless uh, has been working great on all 45 north tires and uh, it's been working okay on the icebiker pro too and the uh, suomi fat freddy we really didn't bother setting it up tubeless because um, uh, the bead, the wire bead, is a bit loose. It doesn't f sit that snug on the rim. So we think the tires sh should sit properly hard to the rim before we even bother trying to set it up tubelessly. Anyway, the Piki Sika is a great tire on loose snow. If you're riding a 29er bike, it really is the only option, at least uh, from the tires we have tested in this test. Surprisingly good float. But it's a big tire and it might not fit all frames. So if it doesn't fit, well, Suomi has got a narrower tire at 29 by 2.25 inches. We haven't tested this tire, but we asked 
someone who owns it and he, he said uh, it measures about 64 millimeters on a 30 millimeter internal width rim. So probably a good option if, uh, if you can't fit a bigger tire. Being a wide tire, the riding feel on the harder surfaces isn't the best. It's, it's good, but uh, it's, it's a bit bouncy and not as precise as uh, with a narrower tire. And it's a fairly heavy tire at 1300 grams, so it's not going to be like a nimble flickable tire like the Ice Biker Pro can be. But all in all, it's a great performer on every condition we tested. Great ice grip, good float on loose snow and um, decent riding feel on the hard surfaces. And then there's the Ice Biker Pro. The tires in this test is an old version. It's the light skin uh, Evo. Today Schwalbe has got the double down TLE version of the Ice Biker Pro. 27.5 by 2.6 inches. It measures 63 millimeters on a 30 millimeter internal rim which, well, it's a bit narrow, but it's a lightweight and uh, nimble and uh, sort of fun tire on, uh, on hard surfaces. On looser surfaces, well, it's not really working great. It's a, it's a small tire with a shorter circumference, so it, it sort of uh, hooks up in, uh, tra in the tracks from other users, and it's not really that stable in loose conditions. And, well, of course, it sinks much sooner than the other tires. But it's a cheaper tire, and uh, it's a great tire for hard conditions, for running hard trails and if you want to jump or bounce about and have fun. It's, a, it's the most nimble tire we've got in the test. Grip on ice is really good. It's on par with the Suomi Pikisika. So running on a mullet bike like this, running the 120 TPI front tire by 45 North and the Ice Biker Pro on the rear, it's a really nice combination with lots of grip on ice and a nice cornering grip. The final tire is the Suomi Fat Freddy 27.5 by 3 inches. It's a huge tire. Uh, on this 30 mm rim it measures 73 mm. This tire really does not belong on the 30 mm rim. 35 is okay, 40, yeah, you can go wider than that. And it's the it's the best tire when riding in loose conditions, no question. But uh, yeah, it's a big volume tire, it will bounce about on uh, harder surfaces and it's really numb as a fr front tire. So unless you almost only ride loose conditions, we would probably pick a different tire up front. But uh, it's the ultimate rare tire, for at least for us, for almost uh, everything we ride. We like uh, the Somi Fat Freddy on the rear. For what we have been riding, the Piki Sika really is the test winner. We prefer the Piki Sika on the 29er bike, and we prefer it up front on the mullet bike. On the back, we will be riding the Suomi Fat Freddy. But if riding on ice is your thing, then the 45 North with 120 TPI and XL studs are really the, the tire to get. That's it. Appreciate any likes and subscribes. Thanks for watching.